In this lesson, we are going to discuss how to view your site survey and utilize this to make your best channel selection. When you first log into your access point, you're going to navigate to the wireless menu option from your dashboard. Once you are navigated to the wireless page, you're going to see both the settings for your 2.4 GHz and your 5 GHz radio. The last setting option available is your AP detection, which is where you're going to click on the scan button to do your site survey for both the 2.4 GHz and you can also do it for the 5 GHz if necessary. We're going to view the 2.4 GHz because this is where a lot of wireless congestion occurs. So when I click on the scan button, I'm going to now have displayed a site survey of all of the on-site access points as well as the rogue access points and how the signal to noise ratio is between the other access points and the current access point we are viewing. Once the information displays, there's a few different things you need to make sure you pay attention to. The first thing is the percentage, which represents a percentage of how close this access point is to our access point. If you hover over the percentage, you can also view the actual signal to noise ratio, which when you're trying to verify what channel selection to make for your access point, you want to verify that the channel you're selecting is not closer than around negative 75, negative 80, uh, maybe negative 85 to the other access point that may be using the same channel. So when you're making your channel selection and the site survey is showing overlapping coverage between access points, they should be set to different non-overlapping channels. This will help to prevent the access points from causing an increase of interference with one another. So when I'm talking about non-overlapping channels, I mean channels 1, 6, and 11. You also notice that there's going to be other channels in use. However, the other channels that are being utilized still do overlap with other channels, while 1, 6, and 11 are the only non-overlapping channels for the 2.4 gigahertz band. So looking back at our site survey, we see that the access points that we're viewing are 100%, which is going to end up being very close to our access point. So we want to try to scroll down, since so this is in order from highest to lowest percentage, and we want to try to find a lower percentage, so our signal to noise ratio is going to be around, again, negative 75, negative 80. So you notice when your percentage is around 56%, uh, maybe 53%, you're starting to get into that signal to noise ratio decibel level that is going to work best for your access point placement. So if we're looking at the access points, they're at a 50% range or higher, then we want to verify the channels that they are currently on. That way we can try and prevent any congestion based on the channels that are being selected. Thank you for joining us today for reviewing how to properly view your site survey on your WK1 access point and utilize this to make your best channel selection for your access point.